get out, dude. Nah. 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 Your boy Ladanian Tomlinson coming in clutch. Your boy Ladanian Tomlinson coming in clutch. Yes. It's worth it. I saw you coming in. I was like, I'll just keep him here. I don't care about that. Been Come on, big boy. Let's go, big boy. Let's go, big boy. They call me Latanian Tomlinson, oh, big boy. Oh, more life steal. More life Remember, steal for me. Hurt. Remember, he hurt. I got life steal though. I got red though. I got red though. I'm a beast though. I'm a fucking beast. Back for prime. How are all you beautiful people out there? What is going on? This is your friend Bird coming at you fast with another Fault video. And today we're looking at some Boris gameplay. This is the first ever Boris gameplay ever, ever, ever on this channel. Obviously, all right, the testers have been playing Boris a little bit beforehand. The developers were obviously testing Boris, but we could not play Boris in Paragon. He was never released. And now we got our Soviet robot bear friend in Fault, and it was just lots of fun. So I wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown of how he plays, his abilities, if he needs work or what. You guys saw there in the beginning clip, it was nuts. He's just a goddamn beast, but we'll get into that in a second. If you're not watching me live on Twitch, you're really missing out on those crazy moments. So you would have been able to see that shit live and in person but boris is just so much fun i mean look at that i love everything about boris so boris is the first hero that they introduced into the game that has a passive ability okay so they said that they want to give passives to all the heroes they want to uh bring the old heroes their passives back or modify them in a certain way but boris since he was already kind of like a work in progress and because we've never actually had values we've never seen his kid in action they were basically working on him from scratch when it comes to the gameplay standpoint everything was there uh everything was not there excuse me everything was not there except for his model and his voice lines so the and the animations of course so the actual abilities they had to balance out they had to work on and all that kind of stuff so boris is really cool boris is lots of fun he's a jungler for sure uh, he has a great kit for jungling and so his passive basically works in a very interesting way which is what i want to start with uh, and that is his bloodlust so basically he gets lifesteal incorporated into his basic attacks kind of like how kuang does when you level his ability up uh, but this is a passive so it's always going to be online and it levels up at let's see if i remember this correctly five nine and thirteen okay so you get it at level one and then at five nine and thirteen it levels up and it just becomes this crazy useful tool because not only do you get life steal on your basic attacks you also deal more damage based on how much missing health you have and how much missing health your target has so in that opening clip you guys saw steel come up on me and steel's a big dude like he's a beefy boy and i took his ass from full to zero while i was at like 30 percent because of the built-in life steal and the built-in damage that just stacks on his basic attack so he's a basic attack a champion basic attack hero that lives in the jungle and he has some interesting kit so here you guys see on the ground uh when i'm chasing people you'll see this in some clips there's a red arrow that kind of points in a direction okay so this is his q which has a passive component and it has an active component you'll notice him kind of sniff and make a little sniffing noise you'll hear it in the beginning of the clip if you want to rewatch that he kind of snorts he sniffs he's trying to sniff out the enemy and he's chasing him down he's got that bloodlust he's ready to kill him he's ready to eat him ready to shred him up and you kind of follow that red arrow and if somebody's close enough to him and they're below 50 percent health he'll passively sniff them out now the active component of that where you saw again in that clip where i was running like the danian tomlinson right like a running back for the chargers when you activate it you lock on to the nearest enemy wherever you're looking within 4000 units so it's actually a very very large distance you can you can lock on behind walls behind fog walls around the map it you just lock on 4000 units it goes through walls and you'll just start sprinting as long as you're running towards that enemy you'll just start booking it right and it's the scariest thing ever when you're on the receiving end of it and you just see this robot bear charging at you head ass a foot and he's just gonna maul you to shreds it's awesome so you do that not only do you gain that bonus move speed 
okay? But you also gain bonus attack speed when you're close to them and you're attacking that target. So, it's just an incredible ability. It's also on an incredibly long cooldown. If you guys notice, the active component is on like a... a like it's more than a minute, okay? It's 120 seconds, and I think if you level up, the cooldown might decrease a little bit, but it's about a minute and higher. It's it's pretty nuts, okay? His right click is kind of just like a double basic attack, really. It just lunges you forward a little bit. He claws twice while he does it. There's nothing too special about it. It just helps him with some burst, right? And then his E is really just like the focal point of his kit. So you see there are canisters on the back of Boris, okay? Right now he only has one, but when he kills minions, he can pick up energy. You guys saw that he just got two there, okay? Now, Boris picks up this energy and it stacks in the canisters. He can hold up to four canisters at once, okay? When he kills heroes, when he kills raptors, when he kills prime, he gets more energy in these canisters than if you were to kill minions. Also, if his teammates kill these things, the energy drops on the ground, so all he has to do is come around and pick it up. The energy stays on the ground for about 30 seconds. So even if your teammates are just farming in wave and you come into a gank, then you can pick up that energy that they farmed from the minions as well. So ganking is a very good use of your time as Boris because you run in a lane where all those minions have just died due to your teammate killing them, and then you can pick up that energy on the way out of the gank which is really, really cool. And so each of these vials, each of these capsules in his back gives you a different buff. And then when you get all four at the same time, you get all four buffs. If you get only three, then you get buff one, two, and three. If you only get two, then you get buff one and two, etc. So the first thing, one capsule, when you inject one capsule, when you activate E after stacking it with the passive, uh, you will gain bonus lifesteal, okay? You'll multiply your lifesteal from your passive. Then when you get two, uh, canisters in the back, you'll multiply the lifesteal and you'll multiply the damage from the passive that I was talking about earlier. When you get three, then you also get bonus movement speed. And when you get four, that's the fun part. You become unstoppable, which means you cannot be stunned. You cannot be hit by any CC, basically. You cannot be slowed. You cannot be rooted. You're just a goddamn beast. And here again, you see me pop the Q running into running into Muriel. And right there, you see me jump up into the air and crash down back to Earth like Superman. And that is his ultimate. So his ultimate is very interesting. It has an execute mechanic, which is the first time we see an execute mechanic since Fung Mao's old ultimate, old Earth Shatter. Okay, if you guys remember back in the Legacy days, that did use to execute, then Monolith, they changed it. But as of right now, as the current hero kits, Boris is the only one who has an execute, unless I'm forgetting someone. But basically what an execute means is that when the enemy is below a certain threshold of health, they just instantly die once they take that damage. Okay, so the way this works, the way his ultimate works is it is a lock-on. You lock onto a target, you jump up into the air, then you crash back down, do a little Superman slam onto them, okay? You do that little Superman slam, and you do a lot of damage. You do more damage the less health they have, and if they're below that certain threshold of health, like I said, then they're just going to insta-die. Okay, I believe it is, if I remember correctly, it's 10% at level 1, I think, or 15%. I can't remember, but then it goes up 5% from there on doesn't really matter what the value is right now. It could possibly change if he needs to be balanced or not. But he's lots of fun. He's lots of fun. He could really be dangerous once you build him tanky enough. Uh, but the only problem with him is that, yeah, he has lifesteal. Yeah, he has bonus damage, but he doesn't have too much CC. In fact, he basically has no CC at all. Uh, I can't tell if the Q, when he locks onto someone with his tracker ability, if that slows them as well. I couldn't really tell if it was just me running faster, so much faster, or if it was them actually being slowed as well, so my team could catch up. I don't remember, but here you guys can see the arrows beneath his feet. They're actually pointing to two different people, two different directions, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, there were multiple people around the wall there, uh, low on health, it seemed. So, in any case... Here you guys go. A good old-fashioned British video. No edits, no cuts, just talks. Here, watch me freaking destroy this mural right here. Let me, let me rush her down. I'm a sniff. I'm gonna rush. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going for it. I'm still running. And this thing lasts forever. And then she goes and flies away and uses her ultimate. Like, this thing lasts a really long time. It's kind of nuts how crazy that ability is. But then it goes on a massive cooldown, as you guys see there. So... 
honestly, I'd recommend building boy. He's he's a fighter. Okay, he's not a tank. He's definitely a fighter. So you want to build him a good mix of damage and armor and health. Okay, kind of how you would build Grux. And honestly, he's just a fantastic, fantastic jungler. He can also be played in the offlane too. He's not the worst in offlane, but he's definitely made for the jungle just because of how quickly he can run up into the lane and gank with that Q. It's actually kind of scary. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first extended look at Boris. Maybe you guys already saw him on Ryan's stream, but uh, <laughs> you already know who the better Boris player is. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's about it for me, guys. Anyway, you want to see more gameplay, don't forget, check out the streams. Check out the streams, alright? Twitch.tv slash BriticHD. Hopefully you enjoyed, and as always, make sure you have a wonderful day. Peace.